Good morning, everybody. Ampreparagon.com, 203-892-4119. So another Ameritron amplifier, AL811H. So some poor solder work here where the taps are connected to the coil. So I'll fix that. This is how you really should tape the anode caps up underneath. I prefer electrical tape, but painter tape, painter's tape is good also. They're not tight, they're swinging, but that's okay. That's better than them hanging. So, uh, as in, I mentioned this in the other video, has an internal tooth crush washer under the screw. It's not supposed to be there, it chewed up the board. It's just supposed to have a split washer between this ring terminal tab thing here and the bottom of the board. MOVs are not installed, that's good. So someone added, may have been the factory has the gas discharge tubes, but I'm gonna replace those because if one of the tubes have flashed, I don't know what condition they're in, so I'll put brand new ones in. Uh, one of the SO239s, the one on the output, doesn't have a really strong grip, so I'm gonna change both. It's not worth the risk. Uh, the grids are grounded through the socket screws, so I will go right to the metal, like I always do. I'll clean all the rotor switches with the oxid gold and check everything else over. So, I always check the fuses. Always check the fuses to make sure it has the proper fuses. This one, that's a 12 amp, and I'll check the other one after, but. Okay, so, uh, bias mod also. Okay, so I'll be back. I will see you guys soon. Looks like, yeah, someone's had this apart because they, they marked the shaft. So, okay. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so grids are grounded really well, right to the metal. Two of the nuts were finger tight. New gas discharge tubes here and here, soldered really well. Here are the old ones. Okay, so let me get back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. I'll go over everything I did real quick. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, the bias modification. Repaired the solder joint on the side of the coil over here. Got rid of that internal tooth lock washer. The windings were coming undone a little bit, so I put some super glue on them. Now they're nice and secure. As you saw before, I grounded the grids really well, put in the gas discharge tubes. I cleaned the rotary switches with the oxic gold. Brand new SO239 connectors. I always replace them with silver plated Teflon ones. Has the proper size fuses. I tightened up on some hardware that was loose throughout the amplifier and uh, tested it for full output on all bands. I also had to touch up on the 20 meter input coil, the, the slug within the coil. Uh, it was really high, the input S3 was really high. So it's all set. Thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, any of the amplifiers you see on my YouTube channel, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Oh, one last thing. I also put the longer screw in the base of the plate choke. So, 73.